<laughs> right on time. Oh, Ding dong. Ding dong. Here we go. Ding dong. Ring the alarm. The reason most, most of us gain weight. Goddamn. Powered by Riverside. Twin, what's going on, Twin? Welcome back. Thank you. My my partner in crime, the the missing link is back. We 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 on episode three. Can you believe it? Episode oh, three episode already. Three. We're moving. Wow. We got a, we got us some great guests in on the show today um, for this topic, and we're just gonna go around real quick and and get introduced introduced so everybody knows who's who, and um and then we are gonna start this thing. Um, who want to start it? Tell them what your name is and where you're from. Yo, what's going on? It's Lloyd again. Um, back again for the second episode. I appreciate, well, for my second, I appreciate the opportunity. Uh, trip underscore 333 on Instagram. If you follow him, follow at me. Mm. What up, what up, y'all? Right. What up, Joe? This your boy, Chris. I'm just uh, CS underscore Tony with the Instagram. Mm. Thank you, Kosh. I'm Matt. Thank you, Kelsey, for letting me in. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When? Hey, what's it? Oh. Okay. No, here we go. We know it's when. Okay. Yeah, what we got? No. Hey, we're good. This is, this is old, man. From Atlanta. That's all. <laughs> What's going on, Joe? What up? Who's next? Yo, Jack, represent <laughs> Dade County. Yeah. Hey, good to have you, my man. Good to have you. All right. Lee? Hey, what's going, on? what's going on? This is Lee from New York, from the Bronx. Um, all right, all right, all right. New York to the building. Oh, I'm the building host, one half of the twins. Okay, and um, you already know Chicago's in the building, baby. We in this thing, you're we in this thing. Hi, Okay, let's hop into this thing, man. Let's let's get the people what they want to add. The topic today is: Is it toxic or is it love? And we're talking about in any type of relationship where it is, whether it's a relationship, marriage, dating, friendship, uh, sisters, brothers, family members. You know what makes it? What is that thin line? And what is? the scenario when you have somebody who says they love you, but they're doing stuff to you that make you feel like it's toxic. Let's break down that definition. Anybody got the- can, can You know I'm pulling it up right now. You yeah. know I'm a definition. Let's man. get the definition of toxic first. We like to give y'all the definition of these things first. Mm. So in that way, we can go off of some, some something solid. You so see? toxic traits refer to as habits, behaviors, and ongoing actions that harm others like self-centeredness we're just gonna stop at that we're gonna mm. stop at that one self-centeredness self-centeredness that's a big one <laughs> okay 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 yeah. Yeah. I'm a little self-centered I'm a little yeah. self-centered let me get a cigarette okay anybody else self-centered or i think it's straight emotion you know? any type of relationship where Sorry guys, I'm making sure that the live is good on all of the platforms and it uh it looks like we good. We up. And toxic traits right. can be like stuff that someone is doing that is like just not good for you. Like them just being like spiteful or evil or something like that towards mm. you or manipulating you to mm. like whatever the situation may be. It could be many things. Mm. Hmm. 
Okay. Okay. I like that. I like that. I, like I mean, that. I got a whole laundry list right here if y'all want to go through them. Like, where you want to start at, my boy? Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. So, then, so let's go ahead and get hop into it. Who wants to tackle on when they're in a relationship? Who was in a relationship that they felt they was in love, but then they found out it was toxic? Who who want to kick it off? I go ahead. Twin. Times. Who want to take what? over? Twin, twin got that. I can start. I'll go first. Oh, go ahead. Twin. It's on you. I'll go first. Okay, so um, yeah, my last relationship, I thought it was love, but it actually turned out to be more so toxic. Like they were doing stuff to manipulate me, as far as like using mental health mm. or like. Um, bringing up like my past that I did prior to us like dating like they were just doing stuff to mainly manipulate me and I was confusing it as far as like well they're saying they love me and then doing little sweet stuff here and there but then once they do that one little sweet thing they'll flip the script and go back to their toxic traits accusing me because of their insecurities or just doing stuff to manipulate me but after I got out of that relationship I did start thinking I started to think like about multiple things that they were doing like damn I guess that really wasn't love like what they were doing was really toxic and I just allowed myself to be in there because I mixed up the two thinking what they were doing thinking that the stuff that they were doing was really love but it was actually like them being toxic towards me and I couldn't realize that until like I started thinking about it and then I asked my friends and then I seek help outside of my friends to see like, damn, I really was in a toxic situation. I didn't even know. Like, yeah, I have my own little toxic stuff, but you know, as far as manipulating someone using like mental health, like that's big for me. So I would never use that to manipulate someone to being with me and um, making them think that I really love them when really I'm just being toxic towards them. Mm. So you're saying that this person that you was that you that you had a relationship was was using elaborate a little bit more about using mental health like what so, what is that? So um, I've struggled with me mental health in the past before. Mm. We're gonna talk about that on another segment. Okay. <laughs> but um, they were using like what they've been through in the past to try to justify their actions instead of them taking accountability for them actually being wrong for what they're doing. Like they will use like death in their family that they supposedly got over with already and try to mm -hmm. use that to manipulate me to why they're using, why they're actually like to, uh, how do you say it? Like to make an excuse for why they're acting, how they're acting. To justify. Mm -hmm. Yeah, justify. a justification yeah. for how they're acting. And I'm thinking, well, maybe this is true. Like, cause you can't put a time on people's healing with certain things. But then I'm just like, every mm -hmm. time when they're in the wrong, they want to do that, but when I'm in the wrong, it's your wrong. Mm -hmm. it's, it's no, there's no, yeah, yeah, there's no excuse. You have no reason to. It. It's just your wrong. But when they're in the wrong, they will use stuff like the mental health stuff, and they know I'm really big on that. Like I take that dearly, and mm -hmm. they will use that to manipulate me to where I just kept staying with them, and then eventually I just was like, no, nah. like fuck all that. <laughs> like you're really sick and t toxic, and you're really fucked up in the head. So it, I mean, if you are having, mental, if you do have mental stuff mental health going on you know deal with it don't like use that to justify why you're acting how you're acting or why you're doing certain things or accusing me because of your mental health so mm. i feel like a lot of people like abuse certain things that people feel like and that's toxic you know they abuse certain things to where they know people are very sentimental about it just to like get over on them mm. so definitely okay so you're saying take care of yourself before you move on before you try to include somebody else in it. Like, if you know you have, like, you know, bad traits, uh, mm -hmm. toxic mental health, whatever, take care of that before you try to include somebody else in your life. Because once you put that person in your life, you can, ain't no old mental health to justify, you know, when you're wrong. Like, you're wrong, mm -hmm. you're wrong. Yeah, fix mm -hmm. your shit before you bring me in on it. I like that. Right. So right. that was in a so, dating. So, so, we had a marriage. Right. Well, that's what I was about to say. Are we just speaking on uh, this topic in terms of just dating or just in general? All in general. relationship, because, you family. know, family could be the most toxic, toxic. person. And, 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 right, the heart, and, 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 and when I speak, I mostly speak on the black community in general. So mm -hmm. in our community, we're always taught to be tough. We're always taught to do this whole tough love thing. And a lot of times, the only way of expression is through uh, a negative response on things. So 
we got to learn how to how to fix things in in general when it turns to in terms of showing how to love because um i have you ever been in a, a conversation with someone and every time there is an option they choose the negative response every time yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. That's, yeah. it's terrible but that's in our community because the negative response is usually the toughest look so we so stuck on looking tough that if we show anything other than a tough look that we want to uh uh we we be soft. looking weak now yeah. y'all yeah. know how y'all y'all know how i feel about relationships from last week the biggest issue, uh, uh, the big, the main thing I know about, I feel about relationships are, you got to know when to move on when you are in toxic relationships. I, I've been in one, so I'm I'm guilty of it also because they always show. Let me tell you, man, people always show who they are, but regardless as to who they who they are showing you, uh, you choose to overlook it because the benefit of the doubt and you showing that pure love is just trumps everything. Mm. That you got to know when to move on because they're gonna a person if a person is consistent, they're uh, not gonna change. Yeah, no. So and and, and and I had to take that that approach to just in general dealing with family members. Also, like when I see a person is always doing things to get on my nerves or always doing things, I'm like, man, why are you talking like that? We're supposed to be related, but you're talking to me like I don't even get mad at them because I expect them to do that now. Mm. I just move away from it. Cause I, I'm gonna tell you, my, one of my favorite quotes came from a movie, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna land off of this. Uh, one of my quote, quotes came from a movie called Jackie Brown. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, 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 Samuel Jackson had a little lady. He was knocking down. She was cool. He went and got his home while out of jail. Okay. He they was at the house. Samuel Jackson left. He knocked the girl down, and when he came back, he actually said, "Man, why you keep her around? She's still from you. She's trying to have sex with me." He was like, "Man, one thing I can count on is her to be who she is." At least mm-hmm. I know she's going to do this, and I'll never be upset with her. Is but, but let me ask you this: Is is that making you toxic? Because sometimes people have a way of like, let's take for example, like abusive situations, right? You got uh, somebody who's being abused, whether it's male or female, being abused in a in a relationship. Do they at some point, because of the toxic stuff that's happening to them, do they adapt and then think that that's normal? Because like you take, mm. for example, of like I've new friends that I've tried to get out of situations who are being abused, but they didn't think they were being abused because at this point it had become normal to that condition. You know what I mean? Like they were conditioned for this shit. So even though they was, you know, and, and what do they always say after they do something to you? I love you. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I only I, I, I love you. Not gonna yeah, I do it for love. Love is love is a big word. That's thrown around a lot. Sure. It's starting right. over, yeah. We we want to be loved. Like we that having that love and feeling of someone saying they're so in love with you is like it could be everything to a person, especially depending on how they grew up. Like yeah. what if they didn't come from a home where they were always told that they were the mm-hmm. um they told, you know, the love were, you know, so yeah. they can meet I pick it back off that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like that, I think that's huge. Like your first relationships, mm. good or bad, are with your parents, and I think we talked about that Ooh. in the last one. Too, you know what I'm saying? Could so, that be where it starts? So what's that? What, yeah. what, what starts your baseline? What establishes your baseline is that relationship. So if you got parents who didn't know how to handle their emotions, or siblings who didn't know how to handle their emotions, you grow up in this, and it, you you normalize it. Now you're conditioned mm. to it. So now you inadvertently seek these same type of people. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because Ooh. to you, that's the picture of what it is. So I don't, I don't necessarily like the mm-hmm. word toxic, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because you can only stay in a situation that you allow yourself to stay in. You okay. know what I'm saying? So to say it's about a manipulation. But is that, but, but it's, but toxic, can toxic it's manipulation. Like, yeah, like it's, can, manipulation. Yeah, yeah, it's manipulation, sure. right? Because, because in a way, think about it. Toxic leaders, we've had toxic leaders for those that's in the military, right? Or have been in the military. You had those leaders that had that mindset kind of like, Look, this is how I was brought up. Yeah. This is how the military should be. And I ain't changing my mindset on how or what to deal but with. But there's nothing you can do about that situation other than yeah. getting out the military. And that's, a, and that's a whole process in itself. But to well, allow yourself something that you can control, like dating somebody well, or, or keeping somebody in your hey, space is different. Hey, hey, but look, hey, but look, though, manipulation hey. can be no, smooth, though, bro. Okay, okay, if you think about it, if you think about it, if think about it, if you real talk, manipulation, real talk, manipulation can have a whole can colony, have a whole of, colony of, of people setting their, their own to, to other folks. To other folks. And so yeah, you can turn the whole Jim race Jones. against each other. You got echo going on. You got echo going on. Uh, 
We got a little bit of echo. So I, the echo so I, it's, it's also, it's, also the bigger story. If, if you think about manipulation, about manipulation, I'm on my, I'm on Somebody got their mic. If you think about manipulation, uh, you could talk about corporations. I mean, gas, that's manipulating. Okay. You know, they raise the gas prices. Yeah. You ain't nothing you can do about that. So you're saying, like, get out the military. What are you going to do about gases? Move to another country? Yeah. How do you beat it? How do you beat, how do you beat toxic stuff? How do you, how do you overcome it? Because, okay, for example, Pete, tell, tell us an example of how you, what you experienced with toxic. We don't go around with everybody that had a toxic situation. And then we'll compare notes yeah, on here. what you feel so, as a way to get out of it. My experience with toxicity mm-hmm. is what kind of support you get. You get family support. You, you get uh, medical support. You know, like you said, getting a side getting a doctor on pills, all these roll through uh, uh, a, a rolling ball of, of, of factors that that sh- that it's one is the best for you because you might get you might get somebody to give you the bad advice and then you say okay well they, they went through this and you end up in path but it might might it might not be the path for you you got to figure out What's the best way to resolve the issue? For example, for me, you know, I, I was uh, that relationship didn't end well. I took advice for somebody. I took advice because my whole life, my father was never there for me. At one time, I needed advice. He gave me the wrong advice. So I turned around and got advice from my mom. She gave me the best advice. I survived the situation that I'm in or I was in. So uh, it, it's all about support, too. It's all about how, how do you manage the situation you're in with love and, and toxicity. Did you realize it was toxic? At what point did you realize it? Were you knee deep in shit? Or was it like early in the beginning? Well, because you said it was a murder. So how yeah. long did you take to realize that it was toxic? And what was the You know, it was toxic at the beginning. It hits you so hard, you feel like you got no options. So wait, so, wait, so, wait, so, wait. so let me ask you a question. So, okay, so, and because this is what I want to see if this is a common denominator. I want to see if this is a common denominator. Are there signs of this toxic traits that we choose? Like, this goes back to what my man over here was saying um, about you kind of, in the beginning, is it something that we that we kind of force ourselves to still do even though we know yeah. it's fucked up, we still keep going on. See what outweighs. No, you, what right? Hey, twins, you you're right. Uh-huh. No matter the situation, if you're not bred or your original origins like like is, if you don't know how to identify you in your face, you're not gonna know how to resolve it. Like mm-hmm. you need you need the right guidance, and it starts at the beginning. Kelly said it straight. So, yeah, it hit me. I I didn't know anything about it. I said, okay, well, maybe this might be that one time. That one time, and then boom, and then boom. And you probably goes, didn't want to accept the truth once you saw it, neither, because that's how most people are. Once, most people are. once we get that truth, once we get that truth. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Are y'all hearing echo at all? Any echo? Yeah. 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 When, yeah. Whenever, when, yeah. when, when, yeah. you know, yeah. sometimes, yeah. sometimes, yeah. so y'all might have to, as yeah. we talk, you might have to, yeah. 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 um, try, try mute, yeah. try, try mute. Um, um, I'm going to let y'all go because I got, I can't turn it on. Go ahead. I'm going to just listen. Okay. We okay. can hear you now. Okay. Yeah. We can hear you now. No echo. Yeah. They, it yeah. only has to have one unmute. Yeah. One just got to be yeah. one at, just got to be one at one time. Yeah, I would like to ch- kind of chime in a little bit. Um, it's a very interesting topic. I think it's um, hurtful and painful for those of us um, on this podcast that have gone through things that were to- uh, in situations, relationships that were toxic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And when you reflect and talk about them, especially somebody like me, like I grew, I grew up around females. So I have four sisters, one brother. My brother was never okay. there for me. My okay. father was never. So I'm more or less on the emotional side of what 
it feels like to be intoxic when I had to see my sisters come home from relationships. I'm the younger of six children. So I had uh -huh. to see my sisters uh -huh. get beat up um, on drugs. I went through that era in New York where it was okay to, you know, um, come home. You're, 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 you're married as a woman back in the 90s. It was like the man was in control of the family back then. So all my okay. sisters got their ass okay. beat as far as like aggression. And they were from, all wait, from, from, men, wait, from, from men, from men, from men. They were every single one of my family members, including my mother, were all in toxic relationships. I've watched beatings. I've watched black eyes. I've watched my mother just get belittled and talked to like she was shit. And I had to that for. It's still going on, <laughs> you know what I mean. But I mean, for the, for the time that I was, that I can remember, all I saw was a woman. Belittle a woman, belittle a woman, belittle, belittle a woman. Oh, so again, the opposite, again, right? I saw it as family and family. Um, so mm -hmm. what I did was I flipped it, honestly, and it was like I I tried to take the other side of like, I'm not gonna let myself be like men, um, how they treated my mom, how my dad treated my mom, um, my brother in laws treated my sisters. The beatings I saw, the black eyes I looked at, the drugs that I watched, um, the, the the way I heard men talk to women back then in toxic relationships, and uh, yeah, that's, that's correct. Deep. That's deep. That's deep. Honestly, <laughs> the beginning was good, but I think what happens is when you grow up in those situations, you kind of fall back into them and you don't even know it. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. since I witnessed those toxic situations. I put myself in the same situation. Well, right now I have a do. bite That's on my arm do. that bothers me every day. I, you know, I got a Mike Tyson for my ex-wife. No one, I never hit a woman ever in my life. I've never touched a woman, but I was told that I beat a woman in a former relationship where I've never touched her. But she sabotaged my career because of things that she was going through. She pulled me down. It was toxic. The, mm. the relationship mm. before that, it was toxic about money. It was all about seeing me never succeed or be better than her. It was toxic. And every woman that I've been attracted to is because of how I grew up. I was in toxic relationships as 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 the woman was in, was the weaker one. I was around women that went through it. So since I was the only man there, I felt I'm falling through patterns now. So I decided at this at this point in my life to keep my on say I have to identify what is going on and how did this happen to me time after time again. I'm a good guy. I'm a provider. We, we, we all can vouch for that as men on this podcast who wouldn't even be here. If we're pieces of shit, I don't think we would be working. I don't think we would be friends with people. You know, like this group right here is something that's real. And I think that um, it is hurtful. It, like I said, it's a, it's, a, it's a very disturbing topic to think about, but it's, it's enlightening to know that this type of awareness needs to be, what's the roots of it? Like, how do you fix allowing yourself from getting in a toxic relationship again? What are the red mm -hmm. flags? Mm -hmm. Lee, Lee, I need you to be, I need you to be, look at your, uh, your browser, refresh your browser, refresh your browser. That's what's looking at, that's what's looking at. Refreshers. So can I take you back on what Lee said? Yes. Just work now. So work now. Well, what both of you guys said, as far as like growing up in a toxic, um, toxic home and dealing with being accustomed to certain stuff because how you grew up. So I knew how I grew up as far as like right now, my dad is on his third marriage. My mom is divorced once, never been remarried. And I've seen what she went through. I don't feel like I developed the same toxic traits or I have dated the same type of toxic traits as what I was around growing up, you know, and seeing how the relationships were. Like, I think the most successful relationship I know of is my grandparents on my mom's side. So um, I don't think that I exhibit the same traits as them, but I feel like I have developed to, uh, to accept certain toxic traits of my own. Like, it's not the same as what I grew up, but I have accepted certain toxic traits without even knowing that they were toxic until after the relationship or 
Yeah, basically after a relationship or someone has told me like, hey, you know, that's not healthy for you or whatever. So I don't mm. think that I have picked up or adapted the same toxic traits as my mom and my dad have. Oh, so I mean, so, so, mm. so basically, so so let me ask you guys, are, are we all on one same point as far as the origins of where the toxic stuff comes from? Does it come from what you witnessed or what you saw? or what you've been raised upon, or can toxic be introduced to you? Because in my, in my thing, I, I see both. Mm -hmm. Because I did have a situation where I grew up with, with a toxic fucking uh, site of relationships, which kind of affected me as far as me being in relationships. For a long time, I wanted to be a single motherfucker because I saw my mom and dad argue every single fucking day right. when they was together. Right. They had, right. they were yelling. I saw my mom, you know, cursing him out, him cursing her out, all that shit, sort of like my bro uh, Lee was saying down there. Um, I saw all of this shit growing up. Now, I didn't see the beating because, listen, Mom Dukes was a motherfucker, you hear me? She, she ain't gonna let him do nothing to us. She about to put them hands and feet on his dog ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, she's straight from the project. Shout out to, hey, shout out to the Ida B. Wales. You mean? But, um, go. <laughs> but, um, so sh I never saw that section of it. I, so to, for me, um, abusive relationships, as far as like motherfuckers getting their ass whooped in relationships, either way, the woman get beating the man or the man, I never saw that. So, that shit would be something new for me if I got in a relationship with some chick trying to beat my ass every fucking day. But um, I did, the, I was, I did witness the toxic stuff that was going on amongst as far as them not being on the same level and the same type of comprehension program where what she thought was right, he didn't, and what he thought was right wasn't. So they always argued back and forth. So that fuck with me, right? But I was introduced to a lot of toxic shit in different fucking relationships same. I've been in. And it was it was new to me. Like I never even knew that motherfuckers thought like that. But and I didn't know it was toxic until I was knee deep and started saying, "Damn, you know what? I, you know what? Actually, when I did realize that it was fucked up, I realized it was wrong when I got out of the relationship. It wasn't even went during it. It was like after I got out and I got with somebody else and it wasn't doing it. And I was like, oh, it's not it's not normal to it's not normal for a motherfucker." To where you at? What's you? What's you? You know? What, why you ain't? Why you online and you ain't let me know you online until I had got with another person and that person didn't do none of that shit. And I was like, oh god damn, life is fucking beautiful. You know what I mean? Like, so can it be both ways, or do y'all think it comes from origin? It does. No, it could be also peer pressure too. I, I, I don't think what uh, just to chime in. Um, it's because we kind of going back to relationships. Uh, on the relationship aspect, I look mm -hmm. at, uh, first of all, grandparents knew how to do it. And usually the grandparents that had the longest relationship, they were more family oriented and they listened to family. So nowadays we don't listen to nobody once we get involved. We just did it and be like, oh shit, I smashed. She might mm -hmm. be the one. Let me hit her. And then you bring her around the family, they side eye on her ass. But you send her like, I don't give a damn. But so, 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 let me ask you something real quick on that. But okay, but I think though, on a on a contrary, I think they are the ones that started this fucked up toxic. Amen. I was about to yeah, I'm so, well, well, that's what I was getting oh, to. That's what, I, that's what I was going to get to. Okay. I'm gonna talk about that's what I was, that shit that's, is toxic. You're not supposed to be. You're not get your ass beat. You're not, no, well, that's, you're, not, you're not supposed to get your ass beat. 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 Like a slave because it's a toxic. Yeah, but that's different than relationships, though. That's different than a relationship. I don't, I don't believe. I don't believe whipping your child's ass because you're going a relationship with your child is completely different than a relationship with your parent. So, I. So you could beat your girl, beat your kid. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, you put it, you, you, know, you, you go in reverse though. You go in there reverse those because first of all, first of all, what, what, no, 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 because right now you're just being controversial because I'm whooping my child. I'm not whipping no adult. I'm not trying to whip an adult. You whip a child, you whip a child, you whip a child because you 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 trying to teach them. Like for me, you can teach them by talking to them. But that don't always work, bro. 
that talking to children don't always work. You can well, sit there and know? talk. You can sit there and talk. I'm not saying, but y'all act like I'm saying beat them to their damn leg turn blue. You can you can just pop them. You can just you can just, you can just pop your child. You can just pop your child. So there. So so let's let's be clear. So let's be clear. There's levels. Let's be clear. There's levels to it. I'm not saying take a bat and beat your child ass. I like yeah, I said. I've only had. To, I've only. I usually will not this. When I discipline my child, I, I I usually just have to talk to my six year old. I have a two year old and a six year old. I only have to discipline when I talk to. I've only had to pop him once, pop because he mm -hmm. got out of hand. Because talking ain't gonna always what work. Yeah, like, but, but look, let me tell you something. Like if it get to the point to where I'm finna fight a woman, I'm gonna walk away from her ass. I'm not about to sit here and be fighting with no grown saying, ass who, woman. That shit that's crazy. Okay to pop your child, let me go pop my girlfriend. That's about to come over here. Is that right? That's They're different. Human yeah. How are you comparing a child to an adult, bro? Like, so what are you saying? You look at your woman as a child? No. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Bro, you got the, you, the difference is, the difference is a child don't know better. An adult does. If, a, if an adult, if an adult comes and do some fuck shit to me and they keep it going, I'm going to push them out my life. I'm not about to try to well, pop myself. What the fuck we grow? I'm going to bring it back to what I was I saying originally. If you never experienced the spirit, if you don't know what to do, right? So yeah, I'm with you on that. You've been in where someone is uh, set in their ways and they don't like that you put your toothbrush here and or do the laundry and they beat you say, hey, why you put my toothbrush here? Or why you did my laundry like this? Because you're teaching them. I agree. So you're teaching them. But I'm yeah, not you, comparing that to a child, though. So you, you need to explain. There's multiple. Explain right from wrong, danger and safe. You, you know, policy and and way of life. You know, you you can say, hey, you need to cook your food all the way, or or. For people who don't know how to cook, you, they don't know. So what they do, they rely on somebody else who does. You know what I mean? What if I don't like the way my food is? And time they go out and they beat the McDonald's worker because they ain't have ice cream. You, you know what I mean? That's toxic right there. So I just got this point. This discipline in a child to, to being uh, to being uh, 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 so hold on, hold on. Violence. Right. So, so why does discipline has to be physical though, Zo? It doesn't, but see, y'all, but see, you you did you did you hear me? Did you hear me when I say I usually had just talked to my child? I've only had to pop him once. So if I popped him, he was doing something that I kept telling him not to do. I think so. so you're your told you the first my eye. your emotion told you your action is to let me. Let me show yeah, the person kid yeah. by hitting them. By hitting them. Instead by, of talking to them. This is my first thought. Instead of I going back and doing some research, toxic you can do some research and say, okay, what the who, 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 who said, who said that, that, though? Yeah, who said yeah. that? Wow. I didn't say that. Okay, y'all was just on, taking talk. my words and just, what are we yeah, talking about? Y'all you know, you know, twisting my words up. No, no, no. We're not saying you saying that, Zoe. We're not saying you saying that. Oh, okay. We're just saying that. Well, yeah, okay, okay. Because it yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but what we're talking about in toxic behavior is the extreme portion of it. We're not talking about the normal, you know, disciplinary action because everybody can discipline their child how they foresee they need to discipline them because people have different ways of learning. What we're talking about is the extreme. I'm talking about the going outside, getting a switch type shit grabbing a fucking extension cord type shit that you don't know if you hit this kid, you might hit him and detrimentally kill this kid because you're trying to because of what happened to this. Windows get popped out. You know what I mean? Your, your paint on the car get a bunch of, bunch of, you know what I mean? You're right. You're right. Uh, ghost. But, you, you, but, but, but it comes back deep. It's coming back. It's coming back to the fact of back when that's where when when Zoe was talking about the grandfather, the grandparents back then. Remember, they was getting. Remember, slavery happened, and no was getting more slavery. They was beating skin yeah. off their ass. They was beating yeah. skin. Off. 
your ass. So what what those what happened was a PTSD form that turned into damn near like this is what they started yeah. upsetting because they thought it was normal. So they saw this, they saw this way, yeah, they saw slaves get their asses whooped, skin beat the fuck down, and then now they had kids, they beat the shit out of them kids because they're like this is how you discipline a human because they saw that shit. What what did you think again, brother? No, that's what I was gonna say. Be mm -hmm. careful. Be, uh, that didn't come from slavery. Whipping your kids didn't come from slavery. That's, That's always been a thing. The topic. Love. That was in the Bible. It's in the Bible, right? I'm just responding to what it, what what's being said, but we can get back on. Clinton didn't come from no no slavery, bro. No, right? and that is kind of still a topic because we're talking about toxic. It is. We're it's, talking it's, about it's love or toxic. Yes, we just, we just turned into something love else. Or toxic. It's beating your child love. This is on the topic. We're just talking about it in a different way. Is it love when you beat your fucking kid half to death and, and then say, oh, I'm doing this because I love you and I want to make you a better person? I'm going to give you another example. What about fucking parents that, okay, let me not say fucking because I'm already slanted with my opinion. What do yeah. you think about parents who discipline their kids via the social media? You know the guy like I seen videos where the kid, they shave the kid's fucking head on Facebook Live to embarrass him in front of this whole fucking thing, or say, oh, he wanted to be in the gang, so I'm about to show him how to really be in the gang and beat the shit out of the kid on fucking this live. Yeah. That's toxic yeah. shit. That ain't proving nothing to nobody. It's people that trying to go viral. It's a new generation people trying to be getting interviewed. People just trying to go viral with doing dumb shit. And, and that's toxic because now that kid gonna have a kid. And what he gonna now see see if you've been talking here, Chris. See if you So what I'm what I'm gonna do is uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you hear me Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Hey, be, be careful of that toxic in the home because that toxic can often trait create trauma, right? So then oh. so then therefore that trauma will be passed on into every single relationship that person has, mm -hmm. right? So when y'all say the origin, I do believe I have three children, so I do believe that it does start with right mm -hmm. we and, and, I, and I, I agree with you so it definitely is difficult to uh discipline your children because you were we were taught to you know uh discipline with um a spanking or whooping yes. whatever the case might spread be. a rod beat your child exactly right so then in return though um what that does is it creates trauma for you there's things that you do in a relationship that you don't even know that you do because it was that mm. right i had to go through therapy to understand that the way i am my aggression my my vocals is because how my parents disciplined me, mm -hmm. right? It, it brought it back full circle, right? So I just wanted to say, just be careful of that. Um, um, the way we discipline it could be toxic, be toxic because it didn't create trauma and therefore mm -hmm. um, proceeds on to our previous relationship down the road. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I can only speak from my end. What, what I said was I usually just talk to my child. Right, I do too. I've only had this, I've only had to pop my child once. So once again, there's levels to it. Right. If, if you if you injuring people, then there's a problem. Part of the reason well, why if the part of the reason why they took uh, they started getting more strict on disciplining your children because things started getting too out of control. Random mm -hmm. people was able to beat your child before they even made it home. So or the uh, back in the day. And the schools used I used to get whippings in schools. I'm old enough to remember that I never had a bruise on me. So it's, there's levels to it. So uh, back to the family aspect of it, those families didn't do certain things in front of children also. So the arguing, I never seen my mom argue with her husband. I never seen that shit. All that, that, that fighting and all that crazy. The only thing, my dad went to jail for whatever reason. But when he was in the home, he was he was a, 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 a prototypical man. Go to work, get the bills paid, come home with my food. That was my dad before he went to jail. And then, you know, things happen. He went to jail and life changed. But at the end of the day, uh, my, I've never seen them fighting in front of me. That also so plays a, a, a role in the psyche. What's up? Did, did your father hit you at all? Like physically? Yeah, my, disciplined my father you? disciplined me. Yes. My God disciplined for my father. Yes. Hmm. I did. I, but, so but, you know, this what, what were you upset when he did? Yeah, like, what are your thoughts? I mean, uh, uh, I'm, oh. of course, ain't, ain't, ain't oh. every child going to be upset. Yeah. My child so gets upset when me just for yelling at them. So a child gets upset. That child, they still learning. 
So, so part of the problem is are y'all anti not whoopings, uh Lee and um Pete? Are y'all anti not whipping and just uh verbally talking to them or what's your take on how you I say anti not I'm not gonna say anti no. I think I think I think it ties into this topic of love and tox um talk okay it's not and, and, love and, and, to because they didn't do something right. Is it love to beat your child? Because let's mm. say, um, I'll give you an example for me, myself personally, I was 12 years old. I rolled down some steps on my bike, right? Mm. And my bike, I don't know if anybody experienced this, it literally broke in half. Ooh. So the bike broke in half, I came home, I bought the bike home, all my friends are outside, my father beat me in my room, and he, they're yeah. hearing this all outside, this nasty, because I broke yeah. my bike in half. Is that love or yeah. is that toxic? I don't. I, toxic. That's that's where I'm, I'm trying I, to I say. I, I think I think I, it, it all depends on the parent. It all depends. Yeah. On, I'm not saying it's wrong I, to discipline your child. I'll tell you this one too, Lee. For me, for me, a big one was was when you get disciplined also in public. I feel like that shit is toxic yeah. as fuck. Like if you if we have an issue, yeah, backhanding you in front of your fucking friends, all that shit. This shit creates a monster. Cause now you just want to knock motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. Because so I never different. agree with that. I never can can I say something real quick? So, so the, the thin line between love and discipline, the subject on beating kids or disciplining, it depends on the discipline. Beating them because they made a mistake and you want them to correct. Them. Yes, okay. You you love them enough to do that no more because it's going to harm yourself or it's going to portray, it's going to put you in the wrong path. Right. Because an accident happened and it, for your example, you, you broke you broke the bike because of an accident, then that could be toxicity because they got mad because they paid for that bike, I'm assuming. Why they got mad? Now they got, they're thinking in the future, I got to pay for the bike. So it's a hindrance. Beat me. So you get so understand like if you get disciplined for course correction or you get disciplined because nerve, yeah. that's a yeah. big but difference. Pat, yeah. Pat, we grow now. Like, is it how to say you can beat me, um, Lee? Because let's let's say let's let's go into IT of what we do at our at our jobs, right? I have a cross domain. I don't put something from. TS to secret. Can you beat me, Pat? Because I messed up. Matter of fact, I did it twice. Is it okay for you to come punch me in my face, Pat? Matter of fact, take me in the back with your belt. That's that's a form of discipline. Because, yes, that's a form of discipline because right. you did wrong. I know right, Pat. Yeah, yeah, you know right. No right. Could, no right. And the only reason why that there's different forms do. of discipline. I mean, I could have just that's wrote you up. Point. That's been my point from, from the beginning. There's yeah, reasons. yeah. It's those, hey, it's right. There's a different forms of, of, of discipline. Because you did that, or if I had toxicity and I got mad because now I got to do paperwork, I'm going to smack the shit out of you. You know? <laughs> that work that you ain't supposed to be doing. You know what I'm saying? Is it a run? <laughs> yeah. we carry this on? Like, why do we have to? It's, why, why every it's, situation is okay different. Like, as, a, as a child. So, why is the so, so, physical child but when we get older the physical side leaves why is it okay to but, physically go ahead go ahead I, I answer that hey hey let me answer that real quick because between me we can go so but let me tell you why the physical part of it leave because when it comes down to men there's always a low level threat because at the end of the day I don't give a damn who you are if you disrespect me enough we're gonna fight and when men fight somebody <laughs> can die so we can't just be out here fighting and doing crazy shit because somebody pissed us off. Yeah, that's so true. Speak, wait, wait, wait. So speaking of fighting, we're going back to toxic, we're going back to toxic relationships. So friendships amongst men. If y'all disagree to agree or whatever, are y'all just get say y'all arguing? Are you gonna want to fight your friend? Or are you just gonna be like, all right? We agree to disagree. Like me and my twin. Depend, depend on what the argument. Depends. Oh wait, me and my twin had a, a <laughs> agree to disagree recently. I'm not old. When I what? get older, like, you're not gonna like, beat his ass though. Like, <laughs> hey, look, no, can, can, can I tell y'all something though? Some men they rather 
fist fight it out, okay, we good. We yeah. slap box or whatever. Yeah. But is about. that toxic or love? Depends on what you it's want about. It, but you want it to physically put your hands on your friend. Is that toxic or love? Yeah, well, I, I think it's, here's another one, Twin, on this. Okay, it's ahead. toxic when a fucking guy, when your homeboy want to fuck around with the same girl that you have. Ooh. Yeah. That's yeah. Oh, yo, and, and, shady and, shit. And, and, and homies will sit around Listen. and be like, they homies. And now this is looking at the friendship toxic. That's that ain't your homeboy. Yeah, that ain't your boy right friend. there, bro. Oh, you try to go after a chick I've that I've fucked around with, that I dated, and you come up behind okay, me trying to fuck with her. Yeah, dating. Okay. Now, if I just smash, okay. even then, it's still a bro code. See, people don't even abide yeah. by that. See, I'm I'm mafioso with this shit. If you if I know you smashed a chick, and that's somebody you smash on record, that's you. not just a hit and run. That's you. That's you. That's you. Exactly. In our yeah. mind, that's bro code. That's it. Look, I don't know what the fuck they got oh, going on, but he's smashing that. I'm good. I ain't fucking with it. There's but, a billion other women I can fuck with. But is it toxic to fight? Want to fight your friend yes. over a disagreement? That's for, yes. Over a disagreement? Yes, that's toxic. No, no, so, yeah. so, as far as work, as work, as far as work now, I'm not gonna. I already know if you're professional enough, you're not gonna be like, okay, well, this customer pissed me off, or my boss pissed me off. I'm about to go put my hands on them. No, mm. I'm gonna deal with it in a professional do way. It. But you do, yeah, yeah you do have do some it. people who cannot. Separate look, the two and get in their feelings and don't know how to separate and want to instantly curse them out, put their hands on them. Because of their toxic exactly. relationship, their toxic past. Exactly. And, so then back, and then back to the growing up as far as beating your kids. I got whoopings growing up. I got my last ass whooping at 18. I believe <laughs> At 18. I believe, I got I believe. Somebody say they believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I got to I got to <laughs> My mom beat my ass. I never forget this. And my brother was laughing at me. It was his fault why I got in trouble. He snitched on me for getting another tattoo when I wasn't supposed to while I was in high school. Mm. But I didn't take it as I knew I was wrong. So I didn't take it as, oh, I'm like kind of was mad. Yeah, but after my ass whooping, I was like, I fucked up. I knew I was wrong. So all the butt whoopings that I got with the belt, my mom had a belt named Sam. It was a leather brown belt. <laughs> all, <laughs> all the, the, all the, the ass whoopings I got, I didn't take it as oh, I'm getting my ass beat or something like that. I never went to school with bruises on my face or anything. One time I did go to school with like a knot on my forehead, but that was because I, I ran into the door person. with my brother. He, he closed the door in my face and it like put a big ass knot right there. But we got our ass whooped for that. We never not took it as we're we not we never not took it as us being disciplined. Is now it? this new generation now, oh my like my sister, she think my mom yelling at her or putting mm. putting her hands on her uh, with a belt is abuse. Like I remember one time she was like, I'm gonna call the police on you and stuff. And Good I'm call. just like, it's the new generation, like every generation is different. Like I think can I just I just I just want to jump in on that. I think it's um definitely society and what society tries to, what society normalizes, right? And what kids have purview to it, what they can see and what they decide, like, yeah, I can rock with that. But I feel like you can you can't confuse the two, right? If there is a set standard and you know what that is and you deviate and this is how I teach my daughter, I got all girls. I'm a big ass six three two forty child. Airline, yeah, you see so I know, I know, I just can't put my hands. <laughs> I know, I just can't put my hands on my kid. Although they talk to you, you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. But whenever I set standards, when I set expectations, and I let it, I let it be known, you know what I'm saying. When they deviate from it, you deal with whatever repercussions are from that. So if you, like, I was a bad kid, I got a lot of whoopings growing up, you know what I'm saying. But I knew what I was getting myself into because my parents set that standard. They're like, yo, you do this, these are the repercussions. So you can't you can't go back to oh that's toxic because you could put yeah. your hands on your kids whenever that parent has already set the standard like look I done told you what it is if you decide I can't send you to jail you know what I'm saying I can't lock you up you know what I'm saying lock I can take up. everything away from me <laughs> I was punished from the TV forever you know what I'm saying like my dad like yeah you ain't watch the TV I still go out and fuck up you know what I'm saying yeah and then yeah last resort I gotta get that ass beat that's just what it is and I love my oldest. But it was the same way for her. We take everything from her. Like, she liked to read. We taking all the books and we hold that phone. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything that she wanted, that we knew she wanted, we tried to take away from her. Yeah. She was still mess up. And then we got to put the hands on it. It was the only corrective tool that we had available for our child, for that child. You know what I'm saying? So I can't say so, putting so your hands on it what is. What happens if you carry that on? So is that okay for me to get into... A relationship and say I'm in love with yeah. a woman, right? And no, but it's different. That's different. It's different. That's I got three daughters. Well, not even, not even that. Like, 
talk, I'm talking about but these are talk, but these are tricks. Let's talk about people. Let's talk about um behavior. That's, Let's talk about that's, 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 that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I got three daughters. I got three daughters that I treat them all differently. My middle child, we put hands on her like once. And she's been she's 13 years old and only had hands put on her once. You know what I'm saying? But my I mean, baby girl, that trait ever carries on to the mind state. You don't you don't know how the child's gonna grow up with that. But it's physical that's fact. But it's that not this. Let me ask a question real quick though. Let, let, let me ask a, his hands on the mom. Now that would be different. A lot of kids I didn't now. Mom, a lot of kids, no, but wait, 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 wait. A lot of kids, a lot of kids, adults that be talking to therapists or whatever say, oh, well, I grew up seeing my parents hit each other. So you never hear, I never hear nobody, me, I never hear no one say, oh, I grew up seeing my brother hit my sister, so I think it's okay to hit yeah, a woman. Shit, I all, but I always hear right. people say, I grew up seeing my mom, my dad put his hands on my mom, so I'm thinking that's okay. Right. Even TV shows, they portray people saying that they grew up in a household. Tyler Perry. Yeah, their parents hit each other, so that's where they get from, not, you know, getting the spanking. They talking about what they grew up seeing their parents or people around them. Like, even me, my my dad, I seen one time my dad chased my mom around our truck that we had. Like, I seen little domestic violence here and there, and then going, in, I've never really been in something domestic. Like, I, one guy pushed me down, that was it. But yes, that's considered domestic, but I've never been beat or anything like that. Now, one of my brothers, I've heard my mom tell me, yeah, your brother did this doing domestic violence so, thing. My other brother- So why did I've he push you down? Why he push you down? Let's hear, let's hear. <laughs> she was wild. <laughs> yeah. I want to hear that one. Because we got to what, what, what pushed him to the point, what pushed him to the point to push you down? We got into an argument and I wanted to leave. He wouldn't let me leave. Like he grabbed my phone. So he was on some try and I never been in no situation like that. So I was panicking like, and I was in a foreign country. So it's like, it's not like I have my brother I can call or my mom, you know, I'm in a foreign country, you know? So, and you know, in the middle East certain stuff and we're Americans, we can't do certain stuff. Yeah. So he pushed so, me down on the bed to where I couldn't move, like leave. Like I, I froze up cause I didn't know what the fuck he, was going on. He held you hostage. So. He held you hostage. You okay? Okay. You you. The next time he slaps you, and then the next time. Well, they go. Well, he never did that? that. So luckily for me, it never progressed after that, and I'm single. Yeah. Now, so. Yeah. But that's, that's a good yeah. response. Yeah, I never stayed in something to where it got so physical to where I'm like, hey, dad, um, this has happened. Like I've never had no one actually punch me, slap me, or something like that in my face. I'm, so you I'm had great advice. advice. You had I'm great advice. advice. You had a you had somebody to to into a situation to guide you out. Well, not necessarily. So the people who don't. No, I actually didn't because, like I said, I grew oh. up seeing stuff. My brothers, their relationships, they were doing abusive stuff. I always told my thing that I stick to and still stand to. I don't ever want to put myself in have a relationship like my parents. Are my siblings just because to me I feel like those are toxic, you know? Like so, you identified a red flag. Yes, I I don't want to have I don't want to have. That's why I'm 30 now, single, no kids, nothing. Like because I'm refusing to settle for things that I grew up as, like and, what I grew up yeah, seeing. Yeah. And I think to caveat off of your point, Pat, about the about um you know somebody the recovery or somebody being to help you in the middle of it, that also kind of it kind of depends on what they identify as toxic because take like the color purple where she tells old girl hey harpo you know you gotta beat her you know what i'm saying so her advice to another man she told her she told harpo to beat another woman right so it's like it's dependent on who is your what's toxic to the source that you're even getting that information from because they might mess around and give you some more toxic shit. You know what I'm saying? But that beating yeah. shit, the uh, disciplining stuff with beatings, beatings never stopped me from doing what the fuck I was going to do. So I'm anti that yeah. shit. I feel like so, you could beat me all day. It's like fucking it's a waste slave. Of time. You're a slave all day. But that motherfucker's what Kuta oh, Kinte oh. said his name. Is my, he gonna bow down for that little minute, but he gonna be back out in the field talking about his name Kuta. But that's you just want to. Because I'm in a so, I'm in a situation where I can't fucking get out of it, so I'm gonna submit. But that don't mean you changed a motherfucking thing. In fact, you might have made more aggression than me because now 
you know, like the Haitian like, Revolution. We yeah, gotta free ourselves. And, you know what I mean? I used to love the fucking get too many fucking ass whoopings at home, and if somebody needs to feel my pain. I was like, fuck this shit. I'm gonna start a fight with any motherfucker because I need to get the venting out, especially as a male. Like you get to a certain age where you're getting beatings and shit. It's like, all right, this don't work. Don't even hurt. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. whoopers don't even hurt. You just like the audacity. You know, it's like, okay, I, I can't hit my you mom. Grab like, you grab the mom. Mom. But now I'm gonna go yeah. touch somebody out here. That's toxic. Some guys take that and they go beat on a woman because guess who they think about? Oh, that's the flip side, Hilson. Okay. I was trying so, to say. So like, one of the okay. things is- psychologically. <laughs> They beating their right. fucking wife and at their mom because their mom been there whooping their ass all fucking day. Of course, they not going to admit it because this is therapy talk, like my man was saying. This is some shit you don't know. A person don't know where they where that's coming from. They just know that I got this rage. I'm beating the shit out of my wife every time for whatever reason. You know what I'm saying? But really what it is is some of these guys, they're triggered because they got beatings as a kid. Everybody responds to that beating shit differently. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so that's why I'm anti against that because it's a bully move to me. Honestly, it's a bully move. You're bigger than me and you're whooping on me, even if you're trying to teach yourself. Because you can do all the. We all went to, you know, boot camps, military type shit. You know, we've been in where they they didn't touch you, right? Because like the old military, they could touch you. They was touching soldiers. They was I got touched. touched. I got yeah. touched. You know what I'm saying? I came in. I came in generation. <laughs> I, I came in a generation. They wasn't touching us because if they touched us, motherfuckers was fighting back. You know what I'm saying? Niggas wasn't taking that shit. So they had to stop even allowing it. What, what's the first? I want to have a conversation that me and you had mm. where chicks automatically assume you toxic by how you Ooh. look, Ooh. by how you uh, look. Oh, so you want to bring that up? I think so. Yeah. Hey, look, though. Uh-oh. Apparently. I want to piggyback. I want to piggyback off of, uh, off of a few topics, a few points we had earlier. Uh, uh, cause you said we're talking to the extreme when we're talking about uh, toxicity or whatever. Yeah. Um, we got to remember this is mostly anecdotal, because my situation is with my situations were different. I got five brothers and none of them beat on nobody. They they can fight. My oldest brother was they they literally called him a king where we grew up. We grew up in the hood. He was a protector of the people in the hood. So, you know, the situations just depend because I, I, you know, and I know about people getting beat. I've, I've been in the hood and I've heard ass whooped in their house. I never got that. My mama, my mama used to whoop us, but I never had the extreme. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've heard, I, I can't think of uh, any woman in my family that was in those conditions because we've always had their back in those situations. Even when we tell them to leave them niggas alone, we still had their back. Um, uh, and a lot of times when it comes to the children, we're talking about the kids. So, uh, we have to step in and remove society. We can't let our children get too much society too young because what happens is we're letting our kids be on these social medias app. We give them tablets and cell phone and they got access to the world is something that they don't need. We got people Stuff that we got right. And, it, and it's crazy because the most ignorant person can influence the smartest person nowadays. You can hear somebody talk, have the most dumbest talking points and he'll have a following. So we can't let our children get exposed to this. Like I was talking about my son and how, um, you know, he like rainbow. My son six years old, he like rainbow. The first thing I heard somebody start talking about, well, you gotta have that. No, he's six. My son gonna like what he wanna like. I'm not, I don't have to have a conversation with him because he like rainbows. I, you can see the type of shoes I have. Look at my is shirt. That is that yes. toxic? Yes, bro. They think that yes. they, they got to prove something or that it's something yes. they should, that everybody else, you, gotta, you should be disciplined. You should be talking no. to them. It is. What a conversation. Man, it's a kid. It's Why a kid, like, right. My kid's going to yeah. be a kid. He's going to grow up and he's going to know the difference between right and wrong. That's all I can do. But at the end of the day, we 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 let our kids get exposed to too much. Man, they talking sex ed to kids in fucking first and second grade. What do they need to learn about sex for? They need to be learning about what's one plus one and how to pronounce these damn vowels. They sh- nothing sexual related. You got they got a problem. My son asking me about anything about it about his body. 
Well, you know, things oh. are different nowadays as far as what, especially being in school, sex ed before wasn't hold, about. Hold, Chelsea, hold on. Give me a second. Who's recording? Look at y'all's thing real quick and see who's recording so you can release it so we can record back in. Oh, actually, no, I picked back up. You good. Never mind. You, yeah. Sex ed is not the same how it was <laughs> before. Like, um, when I was in school, they weren't giving us condoms and stuff like that. Like, I don't even think we really talked in depth about sex. Now, things is so different. Like, they going all the way in depth, getting people condoms offering them birth control all kind of stuff so you know things is different nowadays mm. advertisement though oh yeah for sure because we grew up having sex but like yeah but at what age that's what i'm saying like i don't i don't even think we had a sex ed class or you know i didn't get that until i went to college my sex is fifth grade i remember i was Fifth grade, they had the anatomy Damn. of the man and the woman, and they talk about the yeah, ovaries, yeah, yeah. reproductive systems. Yes, that was it. The body parts. And then that's when I said I needed to see it. I needed to see that little thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> because I, they, that's to me. So if I wanted to do that at that, talking about basic stuff, imagine now, now this day where life is complex because you're introducing all these uh, different types of yeah, and, and yeah. what people uh, identify themselves as because I don't want to disrespect right. anybody, but yeah, you don't want right. to force that into somebody who's and uh, I wouldn't say innocent, but young and vulnerable and they're trying to learn and, and going back to toxicity and love. So you want to love your child or love your your your. Uh, your, your other, you know what I mean? The one who makes yeah. you better. Yeah. So yeah. saying that is why, why would I want change their thought process, but at the same time guide them to, for my beliefs? You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 If, if my girlfriend has a friend who's gay, you know what I mean? I, I don't believe in that. Do I hang out with him or do I not? You know what I mean? Yeah. So I do hang out with them, but then it get it starts getting crazy when they start hitting on you, and then the girlfriend gets mad. You you know, it's like no, yeah. it's, hey, it, but, and then your relationships but, in, in trouble. But hey guys, you know to wrap mean? this up, to wrap this up, because we going in on we going in over hour, we we getting it in. Okay. But okay. I just want to say one other point real quick. What about the fact of just to just to read back, retract on the toxic portion that I was talking about as far as discipline. It could could it be that men that do start to abuse their girls or their wives, their or vice their versa, wives, women do the same thing, or vice versa. Could it be due to when they were in their household and they were getting these whoopings that were supposed to be to that. teach them? Could this be so. a reason why? Uh, right, I get you, but, but but hear me out on this last look. Could it be that when they grow up, the woman sometimes is subjected to, you know how you have some women that stay in abusive relationships where, like, in your he don't, case, he don't you love you if you don't beat you. He don't love yeah, you unless yeah. you beat you. Could that be mentally from being beat as a kid? No. And now, when this grown man is whooping your ass, it's no different than when you was getting a whooping from your father, when you was getting a whooping from your mother. Could that That's be? Different. It's not, I don't think that's the same. Like, I don't think that's the same. So let me ask a question though. Okay. My bad, Chills. My bad, Chills. Uh -oh, you finished. All right. So let me ask a question though. Because um, so first I'm going there's a those are two different things. Domestic violence is different than disciplining your child. I'm gonna always separate those also, two because, because it's still domestic. Uh, yeah, how, no, how, how do you, you start beating your child? Hey, look up child hey, abuse. Um, look up, look up domestic so violence. Out, look, up, child so, abuse. look up, like, hey, look up domestic violence. But child look up abuse would be violence. equivalent to domestic violence. I got it. I got it. Let's look at the definition. Own definition for what, child abuse. Right, because the thing is, I'm not about to try to discipline no adult. I'm not. I'm. I'm not abuse. So an abusive person that's beating on an adult that's different. But my question is. Um, how and I know some of y'all know that a child that was just bad as hell yes. couldn't be controlled, yeah. and then when they I got was... around to their daddy and they dad, once they got around their dad, all of a sudden they came by that came back an A one nigga. 
they came back a new nigga, as, as they used to say back in the days. So it depends. Yeah. It depends on the situation. Well, they did that while they were in that moment. But then when they went back to school, they were still that same bad motherfucker. No, I never bro, saw no about, I never I'm talking kid about get a whooping and then bro, come back and you, change. no, bro. I'm talking about I'm talking about when you, you know, got this kid. out, you got this out of control child, and then once they once they get sent to whoever the other parent, the grandparents, all of mm -hmm. a sudden you looking at it like, oh, that boy don't change. I yeah. know all of y'all. I know y'all don't seen this situation before because those parents or whoever they went to are more strict, and they yeah, and they, right. they provided a guideline. Yeah, and but when they sure. left that, but when they left that house, though, they were back to whatever they did. Like what I'm getting at is, yeah, they I, had I didn't, to, I, they I had didn't to see change. that. I didn't see that from my from my from my anecdotal oh. uh, 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 observations. I didn't. I've never yeah. seen that. I always saw you like bad kids up. still be bad. Mm -hmm. Like I did see them go to like a stricter parent or something. But when they went there, they were straightening their ass up because hello, they being fucking uh, you know managed. You, you're gonna have to. That's like being a POW. You're gonna have to fuck around and you know. You're gonna have to adapt to your where you at. But then once you get out of that environment, you back to wherever the fuck you is. You know what I'm saying? It's like people, it was like it's, it's like people that remember back in the day when you had to hide that you was a homosexual. That's why that's a big thing for them. Homosexuality, because when they was with family members, their family members did not accept it. So when they was at home, they weren't uh uh you know their alter alter personality persona or whoever they was wanting to be, they had to be hidden. And then that's the whole coming out the closet shit. And then when they got out of, when they were able to be able to express it, they was expressing it in the schools. They was expressing it in, out in the streets. But then when they went home, hello, they had to change back. So I'm, I'm just a firm believer. Like, I don't think that a whooping is going to prove anything besides you just bullying yeah, whoever but, you at. But that's because you're you looking bullying. at, that's because you're looking at disciplining a, a, a child that's the same as whooping someone's ass in the house. It's different, bro. It's not the same. Why is it and, and like and like we and like we all agree earlier. My wife? And like how do you and like we your said, wife bro? How do you discipline said, your wife? Bro? I didn't say that. Did I say discipline a wife or in a significant <laughs> other? But look at the definition I put in. It said domestic violence or uh -huh. domestic abuse is a violence or or other abuse that occurs in a domestic setting, such as a marriage or cohabitation so it's either you're married or you're with mm. anybody you're with cohabitation anybody. means anybody you live with anyone a friend i can i can i can provide that same discipline to anyone yeah yeah i dropped off well I let me go off. ahead so and you discipline thinking, my wife so did i did i say did i say did i say discipline a wife though is that was those was those my words no that was did I say that? okay because i'm just because i'm only speaking on what you, i'm saying you, so you said, the, because every situation. time i speak Every time I speak, y'all y'all come up with some other situation that I'm not even dealing with or talking about. I'm talking about when you disciplining a child versus when you in an asshole and whooping your the people yeah, in your child. Not, I don't like think that's, that's different, bro. Yeah, that's, that's completely different. different. I'm not saying I, I first of all, toxic, I've never too. hit a woman in my life. I've but never hit toxic. a woman in my life. I, I, I don't think it's I don't think that it's the same, but I do think it's toxic. I think both I things think are toxic. Right? Yeah, I think, if you're beating your child, anytime you're using aggression, kid, but if you're beating your child, well, so, beating again off of them and stuff like that, it's not even. You're just it's, you're it starts sure. to be child abuse. That's sure. when you start yeah. really. Okay, but the there's different type of toxic. Yeah, that's that that the physical is part. Most of the time, they whooping your ass because they're angry. Most of the time, they whooping your ass because of a personal thing. They whooping your ass because they're upset. They're angry. They ain't about to train your ass shit. Yeah, you listen. The only time I've got it, the only time I've got discipline was when I did something wrong. When I did something I was supposed to do, and it was it was consistent. I told you to oh, stop doing love? this. I told you to stop I'm doing this. The, yes. I'm reading the topic. Yeah, this yes. Love. Love. I'm getting my let me tell you, love all right, let me me tell you something. Out. You want to know why a lot of niggas don't go to don't uh don't kill people? Because they know they right. can go to jail or get hung. So there's a there you you do things and there's a reaction to to the the cause and effect. Your I'd be at home. I'd rather get my right. ass beat at so home. So it just depends on how severely. Then. So I use toxic ass. But I rather get disciplined. I, I, I use this. Wait, wait, wait. I'd rather get oh, disciplined dude, in the I'm house sorry. than go oh, out yeah. in the streets and do something. And let the streets do it. And then end up going to jail right. or, right. or some shit. You'd rather be disciplined in the streets or in the house. You should be disciplined. So you gotta talk to your That's how okay. Well, everybody's form of discipline is different. Everybody, everybody you shouldn't be disciplined by no motherfucker. You should be able to talk to somebody and say, "Hey, listen, 
You fuck so it that up. Means, this, so that means this little verbal you, shit don't always work. Well, why don't it? It don't always work. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I throw this in? I never beat my son. Go ahead. Can I throw this in? Can I throw this in? I'm going to just throw this in. All right. I feel like we like everywhere with it. But you know, it ain't much. You know, no, it's slow. But as far as, as far as kids go, as far as kids go, you gotta understand. Hold up, hold on, Lee. As far as kids right, go, okay. kids aren't as developed intellectually, mentally as us, right? So if I'm trying to explain something to a, a three-year-old, people be like, "Oh, you can't put your hands on a three-year-old." How do you train? How do you condition that child to follow your rules and your protocols in your household? Outside of, I mean, you, they they not understand you. So how do you do that? Talking right. to them. There are other over ways to do it, but you can do different with punishments. You can have a motherfucker do a push up. Exactly. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But all that stuff that you just Prepare said, the still be Calf raises. all that stuff can still be deemed as toxic. Yeah. Yeah. You got a kid sitting there and squat. You got kids on their knees. You know what I'm saying? That's overdoing it, though. That's overkill. That's overkill. You come up and squat over his knees for hours. Now you're back into what I'm saying. What I'm saying. That is a tool. Let me do that. And no matter what, from a belt hitting me, yes. I'm being Did you get beatings with a belt growing up, Lee? I feel like hell yeah, Lee. You done been through some shit, my boy. Okay, now let's compare how many people who have been to compared to the people who had their ass whooped. And turned out a how brick. they turned out. I'm great. I have no, I had all of them. But you got some people, as they say, the white way to where, oh, you the talking right? to the white oh, way. No. How they there say, you no talking to your kid. White, W-H-I-T-E. W-H-I-T. You know how you say, oh, you playing different. But I'm saying, you right. know how people be like, oh, you just playing your kid like a white kid, making them go to the corner or whatever. They ain't going to never listen. Some of them kids don't listen when you don't put their hands on them. And they turn around and kill you. Bro, we now, see it every now, day, now, now when when every you gangster, them, every gangster that got his ass up and shoot but listen, some, but I'm, just some, I'm just saying some. Do you have to do people got their ass beat them Exactly. Up? Like I got my it's ass whooped, and here I am right now. My brother got his ass whooped, and he's where he's at. Everybody turns out based it's off a of a lot of stuff. But look, it's not but, just ass whooping. I feel like it was tough love. But look, yeah, this, I was mad, but it was tough love. But this is why day. I said what I said. I have three daughters, and I treat them all differently. My oldest needed ass. My little one, she kind of need them too. My middle child didn't need none. She got one and was done. So we're talking about toxic stuff like that, which is completely different from this conversation. I feel like we have. Um, <laughs> wait, wait, no. Man, no I don't no, feel no, like no. that's toxic. How do you think it's, I, how do you not think it? It's love beatings. It's when you get beat. This is the topic. The topic was, about is it? No, but the topic was, is it love or is it toxic in any spectrum? Relationship, family, yeah, and or discipline friendship. in your children is not toxic. Oh. Abuse, you, abuse, is toxic. Exactly. abuse is toxic. Abuse, abuse is toxic. Abuse, child abuse is toxic. toxic. So about the, what, what about the relationship? I can you tell the difference? Hey, There's right 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 still right abuse. Right. A relationship. Yeah, excuse me. Just because you put your hand with your kids does not, 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 not make it abuse. I'm sorry. Okay, so, I so I last but not my girlfriend, I have to go discipline my girlfriend that acts like you're not going to your girlfriend. You're not going to be your girlfriend. You're not going to be your girlfriend. Listen, listen, listen. Give me five. Last, last but not least. You're not going to discipline your Last but not least. I feel like it is toxic in friendships if you are condoning your friend to do negative shit. Like if you're condoning their negative actions, like, oh yeah, it's okay to do this. If you're doing that is negative and toxic, you're toxic yourself. Like I can't associate myself with no, friends no, that are no, encouraging no, my no, negative, no, my no, bad no, stuff. No, like no, I cannot be no, it because no, you're not helping me elevate. You're not helping me company. grow or anything. Now we touch exactly. Exactly. That's for all y'all in the yes. hood. They're still trying you to put it right on the point, Chelsea. Friendship. Exactly. Yeah, Especially if they yeah, get out of relationship shit like that. A relationship with your child is completely different than it's a completely relationship. Different. It's you completely not different. Well, we talking about friendship. Well, because yeah, well, for even you in friendship, it's still it's still, still different. A family member is a different goal from being or friendship. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. I, I don't know. But, 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 but toxic, toxic is not toxic. Toxic, toxic is toxic. Grow the way I brought that up, friend. Kid, but it, it, it builds the toxic to the friends. 
Your friend is toxic. Happened in, the house. Category. happened in the house. He, he, he learned that toxic shit from the house. He learned it from getting his ass beat for beat, for, for doing this. For, for doing this. I've heard this shit before. I got beat for this shit. You embarrassed me in front of company. Beat, not this. Now you're yeah, whooping, you're yeah. whooping me. You're whooping me because I did something that you thought was was yeah, fucked up in yeah, front yeah, of your so company. Your, your people that have ain't that fun. shit ain't right. Just no, tell me to do it's, that shit again. It's emotional. So logical, emotional. That's emotional. That's emotional that's yeah, I agree. 100%. 100%. That's toxic, but that ain't what we talking about. Okay. That's only one aspect of it. I agree with you 100%. If that's your parents feel embarrassed by your actions or whatever, and they decide to beat your ass because of that, that's different from them setting a the standard and you deviating from it, and now you're getting your ass beat. And see, that's what happens. No, you're right. Them. You're right. Your grandmas did that to them. You embarrassed me in front of company, which makes me bring it back I to agree. the slave shit. They watch slaves get beat, I don't, and then after that, they adopted that shit as that was the way to discipline. But white people do it too. It's toxic. Oh no, yeah, I'm not putting on a race. I'm not putting on a race. Look, look. This, hey, I know some white kids. I know some white kids was getting their ass beat. I know some. It's not a slave thing though. That is no, their reaction. Irish were slaves. Irish were slaves. So it doesn't matter. It happens all races. That's not it all races. Thing. Yeah, this ain't just like people can't control. I see Mexicans still get their ass whooped. Look, Chinese motherfuckers get their ass whooped. Taylor's, it's toxic. That's not a slave thing. That's not a slave thing. The only reason I say the slave thing is that's where black people adopted it from. I believe that's because not, that's not because what because, because your great your great great grandma. If you sit up and yeah. talk to your to your mom, well, it to your be. great great mother, the great great the great grandmothers are going to tell you about how the or the grandmas is going to talk about how they used to beat the shit out of their mom. I mean, you know, out of uh, their kid. Their kid is your mom. Your mom is telling stories about how she been beat. So the whole family tree is about. Starting about how how bad the ass whoopings got, and then they kind of got better because police got involved. <laughs> Motherfuckers start calling the CPS on your ass. So now authority. you know they, authority. they start calling authorities. So that's why you got a less type of beatings because now parents was like, okay, I don't want to go to jail for this shit. You know what I'm yeah, saying? CPS. But they were still beating bro, the shit out bro, of bro, me. Bro, 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 niggas been whipping ass before they were slaves and came to the Americas, bro. It's not a slave thing, but. Uh, so, the problem is, I think one of the problems is uh, one <laughs> we're having here in this conversation is uh we are we are failing to separate the two in terms of disciplinary actions and abuse. Love. There's love. there's a and difference because if you're kind of right. Always use this analogy. I always use this analogy. You get if you speeding and get pulled over by the police, there's uh-huh. many things that can happen in that situation depending. I ain't talking about police direct brutality. There's been times where you can get pulled over, they can literally impound your car for speeding. They can do that. That's they can give you it and have yeah. your appear of court, or they can just give you that warning to let you go. It just depends on the situation and who is given the disciplinary action. So if I if I see uh my child doing something and I'm telling, hey, don't eat on your back, you don't eat yeah. on your back because that can choke you and kill you. You this, I'm gonna pop that leg mix. That's not uh toxic, that's a disciplinary reaction. Now, if uh, uh, if he down and I just beat him like he's the 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 like just stole from some a family member, that's toxic. So, can now, police beat your ass? So, so can police beat your ass if they feel like you you talking shit and you, are they supposed to the result yes. of whooping your ass? But see, we're talking that's about discipline. adults now. No, well, I'm talking we're talking about, about we're talking about a they're authority. Adults, be, adults can't beat nobody ass though. They, you know, <laughs> adults supposed to beat no another adult ass though. So I, I think we have a hard time separating the two. So I understand yeah, from y'all standpoint in the extreme situations. Yeah, like nobody's supposed to be over the top with this stuff. We have to have a, a, a line that we won't cross in terms of so so reactions. I, so so I got something for you. Okay. Let's do the closing, y'all. You know, Let's do the closing. Let's do the closing. 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 closing case. All right, closing. You can you can smoke cigarettes and buy tobacco at the age of eighteen. You can drink alcohol at the age of twenty-one. So, when is it you can stop beating your? And then, to the when I'm an adult, and they just you don't get beatings after. 
That's objective. Well, I got it's my saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's depends objective. on the situation, that's man. Because just no abuse I, I, and punishment, discipline is totally different. I looked it I up and everything, my, but there is a yeah. fine line to where they There's can be line. mixed in because it depends on how bad are you whooping this child? Are you whooping this child to where they're getting leaving, leaving yeah. blood? Like you're starting to like blood scars, all kind of stuff. Now you can beat a child on the surface to where it's just it's gonna be red or whatever. Yeah, but what happened? Well, Kasha, Kasha said it. Mentally, what happens me, mentally? I can speak on my own and let me know. Okay, I know and that me, I can do that again. I, it probably it's took me emotion. twice. It probably took me one, once or twice to know. Okay, let me not do that shit. No more. To learn, like, you learn got, quick. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. It's like when I had got caught smoking. I remember I got caught smoking, got a ticket, and everything. My mom beat the brakes off my ass. Like she took me to my grandpa's house, and my grandpa already knew. All right, I'm going outside. <laughs> she beat the <laughs> yeah. hell out of me. I knew not to do that shit no more. I never did school again, and I never. Uh, that was love. What? Well, but was and that, and that, that, that was love. love. That was I knew I was wrong. Yes, it was tough. I knew I was wrong, and that was my yeah, consequence. Yeah. That was a consequence for my action. That was love. That was I did something wrong, love. and I knew you that know, was the consequence. Was yes, I didn't know I was gonna get in trouble. trouble. You didn't know you were gonna get. Trouble? I didn't know I was gonna toxic. Get <laughs> is a blend. You would have got caught. That was your no. Are we again? Are we agreeing? Toxic can be love. Yes. Yes. No, 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 no. I mean, well, it can get confused no. to like people can somewhere. Think that, I think line. people can get confused right, to think up. that toxic Look. is love at some time. Like without knowing example. until after they get out of the situation. For example, I got so I'm you, right? beating you hold on, hold on, because hold on, I love you, you to become something else. Hold up, Pat. Hold up, Pat. And I think I'm definitely confused. Re refresh your screen, somebody, because it's, it's echoing. For me? All right, so me? Like, everybody trying to refresh. Oh, so like for instance, if I got an old lady, right, and I let her know my standards from jump, like, look, if you got dude friends that you used to fuck back in the day, like, I ain't cool with that. Mm, that that's not going to be okay with me, right? Now, if she decides, place. if she decides that she wants to go, or me and me and Chris were talking about this, if she want to go have lunch with this dude, you know what I'm saying, or she want to hang out, that's her friend. They on the phone, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And I decide, because some people determine, like, have determined that giving ultimatums is toxic. Like, that's a form of manipulation. It's like, no, I let my standard be known. Now I'm telling you, if you do this, I'm not going to tell you not to do it. But if you do it, I'm out. Like, I'm gone. They're like, oh, you're going to do that? Oh, that's toxic. You're trying to control me, blah, 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 blah. Like, that ain't what that is. That's just setting standards. And I think that's the that's the delineation, right, between toxic and standards. If you got a kid who don't understand shit, right, and you decide in order for me to you in order for me to correct your behavior, I've tried everything else. I've taken things away from you that you enjoy, that you like, or whatever, which could also be toxic, right? Consider toxic. Um, right. So I got to put my hands on you. And that actually changes that behavior. Mm. That's the end goal. When you're talking about relationships as an adult with your significant other, mm. to me, it's completely different. Like, there's there's no comparison because it's not my, you've already been raised. So now I'm dealing Thank with you. whatever you had going on, whatever toxic or good qualities and things that were instilled in you, I have to deal with that. But it's up to me. Okay, Kelly. Kelly, quick, really, quick thing. Hold, Kelly. On, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's why I said I don't like that toxic word because once I once I identify who you are and the qualities you have, you know what I'm saying. That's my opportunity to make a decision at that point. It's like if I do some okay. shit, then like in her situation, you come back. Oh, my family member died. That's why I'm behaving like this. I'm not dealing with that shit. You go take care of that in some therapy. Heal yourself. You got yourself together. Heal yourself. You come holler at me. You know what I'm saying? Heal the, heal the toxic. So you put you yourself out. in situations, but as far as discipline and kids, it's a completely okay. different topic. So, okay, Kelly, I'm going to give you a scenario. Can I give you a scenario, okay. Kelly? Yeah. We got like five minutes. You, you, you out. You, you got to wrap this up. I got to finish. Eating, up. right? You guys are in a nice environment. <laughs> some dude, a waiter, right? He wink at your girl. Your girl smiles. Tries to push on her, you know. She shouldn't have never fucking smacked. Hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she is the flirt, the little, the little quick flirt, and yeah, yeah. What you gonna do? It's okay. a conversation for me, and since you're asking me directly, there's a conversation. I'm like, yo, like, what was that about? You know what I'm saying? Because yep. if we've never addressed this already and how your actions make me feel, then there's no setting. I can't hold you to an expectation I didn't set. You know what I'm saying? So I'd be like, look, I feel like that was out of line. You might have found it like flattering. I know 
know what I'm saying? From what I see, you're not gonna take it from here. But that made me really uncomfortable. So who's and toxic? Okay. Who's no, toxic? I don't think anybody's toxic. But no, no, wait. Who's toxic? The waiter. No, outside influence. That's the waiter. Influence. 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 I say both. Oh. I, look, look. No, I, I say both. Why the fuck are you smiling? Keep your ass, your goddamn. <laughs> get, 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 what the hell what is that? Toxic. Right. What the hell is that? Why would you be smiling at somebody? Yeah, they want a girl and a guy. Like, you don't know what they are. Why would you be disrespectful? The guy going to get his ass whooped. See, but your saying. ass better not be smashed. Toxic, toxic, toxic base. Toxic right. Right. Toxic. You, you see me you with her. But if you wait, but but you know, have a conversation. You know, you know, these are challenges. Toxic, these are challenges in life because. No, no, no. I'm not going to say nothing to her right then. I'm going to talk to her ass at home. I'm whooping his ass. The first thing I want to say. I want to know what hey, the fuck you over here looking at her for? Talking to her. You don't see her with me? Am I invisible? Am I fucking clowning you? Look, look. But, it ain't my job. It ain't my job to check a nigga. Hey, it ain't my job to check a nigga. It ain't my job. We're in the car. We're in the car talking about things on the way home. We're in the car. But in the restaurant, we're in the car. But she should know better. If that's your girl, she should know better. You you know, know, right. I'll be like, I'll probably give him a nasty look. Right. And you love her. Right. Right. And that diffuses right. the whole situation. Right. And he'll know right now. I don't have to whoop his ass. Now I don't have to whoop his ass. But I will put something to you. Go ahead, Lee. It's an okay. The girl's supposed to smell it. All right. So is it okay to be toxic? Is that wrong to be toxic? In some situations, I think. Yeah. In some situations, uh, 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 it's it's wrong to be yes. it depends. It depends. It depends. No, what if the but not, not, not to to change my mind? To say this, what if the roles change? What if a female Ooh. waitress smiles at the guy? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's guy, female, but I should be on that. Now, <laughs> every day. I've had a situation, listen, I've had a situation like that here. Oh, the dude that I was with is small. I had that a situation, my my, my ex that I was with, at the my boyfriend at the time, we was at Claw eating at the bar. This chick walked up, first she walked up, smiled at him. And I'm like, I know she see me and him sitting here talking. Mm -hmm. Then she came back over and was like, hey, and just dismissed who I was. And I was just... No, so let me piggyback on the <laughs> no, so, and no, so I looked at her. I just looked like, and I just kept even like, okay. And I waited until she left. I was like, oh, you must And you know check it. him. No, I See? just was like, oh, you must know. I played it. Ooh, played play it, played it. Like, awesome. I'm not, no. no, no I'm not, no, I'm not about to cause a that scene. First of all, if I would have caused a scene, they would have been looking at me all crazy. Right. Like, but I would have like, caused so, a scene. So let me give you an example of that, right? So my ex-wife. We're the restaurant. We're the restaurant. We eating. The waitress, a little Spanish thing. That's my little flavor. I love Spanish things, <laughs> right? So, so she she giving me all kind of vibes, whatever the case might be. And my goofy ass is entertaining her. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 right. And and my wife, ex-wife, is literally like fucking like putting her heel in the she middle of my it. foot. Right. Mm. She hot. Right. And I and I had to stop. Like, oh shit! I didn't try to fuck it up in here. Kind of. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so then, help me out, right? Was her hitting my foot with the middle of her goddamn heel toxic? No, both of y'all no, actually, both of no, y'all no, no, no. toxic. She was doing the right thing. No, hell no. No, no, no she was doing toxic. the right thing. Yo, Don't you want her to get up and go off on a woman? Hey, yeah, no, 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 that's, that's what exactly what Lee said. That's violence. Anytime that's somebody, violence. Right. Well, anytime <laughs> somebody, anytime somebody is, first of all, two parties is wrong, man. You got to be way more smoother. The guy, you yeah, never exactly. let the girl, even if you see it, is it, you can't let her know that you was looking at this other girl. Bro, so now it becomes a disrespect. So and it's the same with the man, I don't give a damn what's going on. Okay, I don't mean, care what I'm doing. Damn, what's going on? Don't put your hands on me, folks. I don't give a damn. Thanks, yo. Don't put your hands on me. Like that, your cause, forehead. Because well, that, <laughs> that's, you know, that, that's <laughs> different. That's different. I can take a little. I can take a little chill out. But don't do that shit in public, it's first well. of all, because you ain't finna make me happy, though. But don't put your hands on me. You put your feet under the thing. Nobody saw that. I'm right, you, Zoe. No, bro, don't put your hands on me, bro. No. That shit hurt. And I want to first look at the corner. Why are you even Yeah, why are you getting it? No, no, bro. I ain't going to promise, bro. Yeah. It is, bro. And that's it. You know what I mean? I ain't going to 
And I would have took that. I would have took that as a pass. Her putting the little feet thing and not just getting up walking out on me. Because like me, I walk off. I walk off on a chick real quick. You seen that shit? Look, as soon as I see, go zero tolerance. Yeah, zero tolerance. Entertain it. Go. Yeah, leave her with go. Go but, then, but then walk away. <laughs> but then walk away. Don't put your hands on me, though. Then walk away. Walk away. Then walk this away. Why. This is why. This is why. I went over the top. I was just saying, yes, man. Oh, thank you so much. I was just being. Oh, hey, okay. Twins, right. can, hey, we, can, can I chime in? Please not can go I to another topic on episode four. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Part two? Yeah, oh, yeah. We do that. Yeah, episode right, four coming up. Right, right. Hey, right, hey, hey. hey twin, is, twin is running episode four. Twin is running episode four. So she going to drive the train on okay. episode four. Maybe I've been, been doing, I've been holding it down for one and two. Wait. All no, right. we did one together. Yeah. I held it down for two, and I put together three, pretty much. She going to drive the train for four. So it's going to be what's all going to be? Twin running this on this next one. What's more? With that. I'm done. Uh, I got a few on, on my list, but I'll let y'all. Hey, know. can I can I just throw something in for this for this toxic thing? I think yeah, I, up, I think when we mess up, in my experience in dating and being married and all that shit, as far as toxicity and all, I told y'all I don't like that word in the first place. But just like in the last time, in the last episode, you know what I'm saying? I think things boil down to standards and communication, setting expectations. Yes. I can't say that I'm in a toxic relationship if I'm allowing shit. Because I was in one that you would consider toxic, but I knew what was going on. But I still allowed myself to stay in that relationship. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I can say it's a manipulation. Most people know when they've been manipulated. Mm-hmm. Unless they just finessing this, the hell out of shit, which does happen. Yeah. But I feel like most of us can identify like, yo, I'm I'm feeling Something depressed. Wrong. You know what I'm saying? Something's like my, my, my whole energy is off. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm dealing with the bullshit that this person is putting me through. But I'm allowing myself right. because... I feel like I feel like I love this person that I'm invested. Look, hold, on, hold 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 on. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Well said, well said, well said. Hey, hey, logo. So let let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Let let let. Is this me? Question though. So yeah, ask you a question because I can relate to what you're saying. How much? You wanted to keep your family together though Ooh, because as a man, mm. man we want to we want to stick with our family and our kids if we commit I agree. We our say kids. hey this is this is happy my wife happy. especially with our kids yeah. no happy no, wife and happy shit. Fuck is shit. bullshit fuck happy, shit. Happy, yeah. is bullshit because let me tell you something when, 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 my brother's up. When, like that. When, when the man is, oh, oh, do we need a clap for that? We need a clap for that too? Yeah, fuck that. Fuck that happy, happy wife, happy, happy life. Happy wife, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. Because, because at the end of the day, <laughs> men are walking around this thing miserable just to keep their wife happy. The Facts. Time, what happens is, and I, and I don't want to go too much because it's kind of off topic. What happens is, if the woman does what she needs to make that man happy, that nigga will move a building for her, and then she will be happy. And then hey, the Chris, right here, huh? This, That's toxic. So, so, I'm going to leave that alone right now. I'm going to leave it right now. <laughs> hey, hey, we we got a question? Oh, my bad. We, we go. We go. Class closing. Let's do the class. The closing. Subject number one. Yes. So, and, and closing, in closing, guys, in closing, we all agree that there's a that there's toxic traits that can be in every different type of scenario. Hell yeah. Friendships, yeah. family, uh, relationships, marriage. We all agree. Yeah. We agree that mm-hmm. that the reason corporations, jobs, all that shit. Right. But there is also yeah. the fact that people sometimes or most of the time choose to stay in these type of situations due to the love or the benefit. Mm-hmm. Or the benefit, the perceived benefit, yeah, yeah. The perceived benefit. Or manipulation. So, so there's something that the manipulation, something is keeping you grounded to that. So in closing, we would just say we, I mean, we would want to say that you know, try Edge to identify those red flags. Yeah, try to try yeah. to identify those red flags in the beginning. Try to break away from those. You know, get, cut it off short because even if you love that person, the toxic. It, the toxic traits that you're going to have to endure is not going to be worth it at the end of the day. And you can't think that you can change that person from that. Just get away from that's it. True. Go and get you somebody that's, that's, that's healed and don't have that type of issue because you can't always be super day to day. Get professional, get, get professional yeah. help. Oh. Like P yeah. said, 
make sure you got a good background. If you do find yourself in this type of situation, make sure you got a good uh, grounded somebody that can mentor you, somebody that can help pull you out of the quicksand that you get that you're in. And I mean, other than that, man, I mean, does anybody else got any closing? That's my closing for it. Anybody got any other? No, get good support. I was just. Don't forget. Don't forget. Take a shot. We always do. We could talk about it, but drink the pain away. Drink it away. <laughs> hey y'all, no, we really no, appreciate y'all coming away. on here, man. We really All appreciate right. having y'all. We love y'all, man. Hey, everybody that was viewing this, everybody that was listening to this, Thank we appreciate you. you. Thank you. Know. Share, share, share. Everybody share this. We 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 got that. like and subscribe, baby. Hit the like and subscribe. This will be on YouTube immediately. Something went wrong with the live showing this time, but I did catch it on Facebook, and we do cat we do got it on our, our provider Riverside. So we got the whole thing. We're going to have it on all the platforms and we'll have the audio out. So we appreciate y'all. Twin is driving episode four. I'm excited because I'm going to kick my ass back and I ain't going to be doing it. I'm going to be saying that. Lots of feedback. Give us feedback. Give us feedback. Let us know what you want us to talk about or change. Well, not talk about because we're going to tell y'all what we talk about. But Tell us what you would like to hear more and what you what you think went good and what you think didn't go good, okay? Um, thank you all so much. I thank appreciate you. y'all, man. We appreciate Powered y'all. Powered by Riverside FM. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, what's up? Yeah.